right, Namdi. I we're gonna have to address the elephant in the room. Okay. So we have had a few challenges recently. <laughs> and um, but you know, we weathered the storm. We got a nice little uh lesson in copyright. <laughs> so did you want to speak on this matter? Because you know, it's you know, we got caught up in a little something. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, you know, one of the things that um, I, I, I personally wasn't aware of is that if you were to go to a concert and record a footage of, a, of an artist performing, mm -hmm. um, I'm sure on the fine print of a ticket, it would say something in there. I mean, it's the smallest writing. No, um, <laughs> probably but not. You have, but only Probably, you know, it'll say no refunds. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but we're very much aware of artists like, say, Bruno Mars, when he's done some shows, he's pretty much said to the audience, and it's very explicit do not record this uh, and do not share. Um, but right. most artists, when you do go to the concert, say, bring out your phone, and they know they're singing and they can see the million cameras recording every aspect of that. And it then, in a way, it show it gives people like wow I can't wait to go see that. Um, right. So what I, I found out the hard way is that actually the artists generally, apart from I mentioned Bruno Mars, who 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 doesn't like anyone recording his shows, but most artists enjoy people recording because when they are trying to get promoters to book them, this gives that sense of wow look at how people are responding to the music. And and right. makes and the social media stuff. Um, so, but so unfortunately, I got caught up with two, uh, with one label who had two artists who were on um, a popular tour right at this moment in time, and the, they um, they went through YouTube to say, hey, the performances of their artists on this tour belongs to us, and take those videos down. Once that gets sent to YouTube, YouTube sees it as if you went into somebody's house, you know, went to a shop, huh. took some milk, and didn't pay for it. So oh. that's how they see it. They don't, they don't right. ask questions. They're like, okay, phew. and so I had six takedowns in in twenty four hours, which you know you oh. have three. That's pretty much that's it. Three strikes you're out. So right. I was told seven days, and we're going to shut down the channel. I took. You know, I took 24 hours or 48 hours just to like, okay, what's going on here? What are my options? Because um, I've had a copyright strike a year ago through Vicon. I've learned don't take, don't ever post yeah. anything from BET and Vicon. You know, whether it's yeah, BET or MP, places they, they, entities, they, yeah. they're, they're horrible and they, and they don't get back in touch. So I, so, you know, I, I didn't, ex I thought these guys weren't going to respond. So I prepared for the worst. I'm thinking, okay, what do I do? Let me start a new channel. I still owe, I have all the stuff that I've already recorded so I can just upload. It'll just be a hard, it'll be a lot more work. And, you know, eventually um, I, I let everyone know two days later that this is what's going on. One way just to let people know that if the channel disappears, this is where you can find me. But also in the second part is in case you know anyone with the label, to, to see if we can, you know, come to some agreement. And unfortunately for me, um, the label did get back to me to say, okay, we can work this out. If you delete the videos of our artists uh, on tour, we will take, we, we, we tr retract the copyright takedowns, mm -hmm. and which they did. Um, it took you, it's taken YouTube a little bit longer to, to, to process that, but they've, sure. they've done so. So it's been an important lesson. Um, it's been an important lesson, um, you know, because other people were affected by that. And, um, you know, and I know it's a rare, rare occasion. So it's not many artists do now. Many, most artists do want you to promote their concerts because they do want the buzz. They want people to see, wow, they look like a good thing to show. I want to go there. Um, and But a few, so being careful with that because the artists, the label have now just released a new album, a single from their artists. And I think there was a sense of, we want to put, 
control the narrative of our artist who's about to come out. So any videos that might show footages of a concert that might not be flattering could damage what we're trying to put out there. So it's understandable. It was a learning lesson that we've patched up and made up, but it's just stuff that just everyone to be mindful that if you are going to concerts, just being careful that if you do have a channel that has lots of lots of stuff invested in it, um, okay. that you 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 know you run a risk if you start promoting um, and showing concert footage if the label decides to um, to come after you. Well, um, I was very shocked, and um, you know, because you've been running your your channel for a couple of years now. Um, and I was very worried, but I, I had faith that, you know, everything would work itself out. Um, so just a couple of things. I think the difference with Bruno is that um, he's an established artist. He's like one of the biggest artists of today. So he doesn't really need the promotion. Mm. And so he kind of wants to be able to control where he's driving traffic. Yeah. Um, the second thing I wanted to say is, um, there's two reasons if I was in their position, for me anyway, mm. why I wouldn't want something out there, um, uh, something of a live performance. One, because for some people, once they've seen that clip, mm. well, I don't really need to go see the show. I've seen the, I've seen the clip. I've seen what they're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the second thing, um, which I think may be about a certain a few of the um clips that were in question yeah sometimes those performances as you said are not in a flattering light so yeah it makes it deters people because there's this you know i'm not gonna say the names of who it was but yeah for me i think i might even comment on a video that i i was you know I was disappointed in the performance and I wouldn't be going to the show. So sometimes those kind of clips will deter people from going to a show because they're like, wow, well, this person doesn't sound like they used to or they seem like they're struggling. And I think that it's different when you're like a fan in the audience and you go back home and you put it up on your social media and you've got like, you know, 40 followers or subscribers or whatever <laughs> yeah. on your YouTube channel versus somebody like you that has quite a, you know, you have like a, over 100,000 people watching. So sometimes you're going to reach a bigger audience or have the potential to mm. reach a, a bigger audience and kind of start, other channels can pick up your clip and take it and run with it. It's, you know, so I think that that's really more so the situation. That's when you told me, I immediately thought, oh, maybe they felt like that clip did not show that particular act in the best light and they wanted it taken down and just and they seen it was so many places they just wanted to you know just get it you know handled in a more gorilla fashion like just take it down or we're going to just get rid of your channel <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so um <laughs> so yeah i think they took that tac tactic and it, you know it's unfortunate but you know they need to you know, and I know it's not up to the artist because sometimes the artist genuinely just, you know, hey, share the thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it's the 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 companies that are in charge, or are you know that own the material should make it very clear when they put their artists out on tour or whatever, they should set those those. You know, set those rules very clear. Like you said with Bruno Mars, they let people know no recording, blah blah blah. I've been in a couple of concerts where they don't want the phones out, and they'll or they'll see it, and they, if they see you with a phone, they'll escort you out, kind of thing. So um, sometimes they don't. You know, um, if you know, they, maybe the artist is performing new material, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, they their music is in the clips, so they're gonna find a way to take it down anyway. Yeah. So it's unfortunate, but I'm glad we did. Um, you know, prevail and, and, you know, everything was satisfied and, you know, um, it's just a learning lesson. Um, but yeah, just be cautious guys when you put up, you know, footage, um, you know, and like I said, I think that we, I really hate that, you know, people won't be able to record all the time because, you know, sometimes you're just recording for your own memories, you know, like I would love to be able to remember this moment. You know, I've been to several concerts with friends and family, you know, mm. some of them are not even here anymore. I would love to rem remember that moment. I mean, that's why I have I record because I don't I want to remember that moment. 
So, and you know, you want to share, if you're excited, you had a good show, you want to share the love. You want people to say, hey, come out, this show was great. Yeah. You know, so that's why I'm saying sometimes when the show is really great, no, they ain't gonna stop you. So that's why I'm like, that's why I went immediately, I'm like, mm, maybe they think that that clip wasn't showing them in the best light. But yeah, I mean, anyway, think about, yeah, just and think about it. I mean, a lot of people who have, um, you know, the number of concerts that are out there, um, and, and it's hate time, we're, we're pretty much saying, look, we, we release new music, we're, we're promoting our stuff so we can get promoters to get us booked on. That's our livelihood. <coughs> and, and, and that's our form of promotion. You know, the more people share them and it goes viral, yeah. it then says, oh, we need to get them on there. But, you know, it is, as I said, for me, it's learning, big learning. So, um, you know, making yeah, changes. A, a group like forward. H-Town, they need the promotion. Yeah, like, they're independent. I, so they're, they're, yeah. I won't go see H-Town. I would like to see what they sound like can they carry those old songs in a new song? You know, can they carry the old songs that, you know, now that Dino's not here? Mm. Do I like the new material? You know, and so if they can prove that to, through social media, they're a group that will benefit from sharing their clips to show that, hey, we can do that, you know? Um, so for real, um, you know, different groups that, you know, they don't have that presence anymore, you yeah. know? and have certain artists that are just in our face all the time they're like monopolizing <laughs> he you know, sweats, he everything sweats, he sweats on every tour right now and yes. uh, you know he, he's like yep share and promote he doesn't mind you know and people like mind. yeah because yeah so uh, learn experience for everyone and, and as I said if you if you do when your channels get bigger you then have to be very cautious about what you put out um, because if you do have as as you mentioned if you if my channel if I had a channel that had like you know, 30 views, 30 people that's just following me, then I'll, mm-hmm. I can put stuff out there um, and, and know that no one's going to come after come after that. And so um, so it is, as I said, learning experience and, and you, you learn yeah. along the way. And, um, you know, but I'm, as I said, I was very, very appreciative that the label did work things out and, right. and, 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 and been able to move forward and stuff. So um, yeah. So that's, that's that's. But you crazy. had good in, you had good intentions. Um, you have a following, a community of people that you know love you know the artists of the you know eighties and the nineties, and you keep them um, abreast of the new stuff and what they're doing now, and you keep them in the know of what a lot of the artists from you know you know like Mary G. Blige and you know uh, you know Keith Sweat and so many different artists that you. Uh, you know, you're just you're just keeping the audience fed with, you know, new music, new uh, performances, things that we're craving. You know, so we that it's not anything malicious or intended to, you know, it's just you're doing something that is a to me a service to the people because we a lot of times we don't know where to we don't know where to find these people you know these people's stuff we don't really take the time out to do it and you we have one place where we can find a lot of this content and so I, I think that you know I, again I think it was not aimed at you specifically yeah I just think that certain clips took a certain fire and they were reading comments set you know the comment sections of certain vi- videos and they figured hey You're right. let's yeah. let's stop this it wasn't any, yeah. I don't think it was a personal attack I just think that the way it went about it you just kind of got caught up in the cross fire or something because your channel you know the, the the material the content for your channel is you know you show you show artists in a positive light you know you connect the artist and the, the audience with what you do you know you make you know a lot of people that may have been forgotten like gina thompson um the group riff riff um uh you know you've had you've covered so many artists that we may have forgotten and now you brought us made us aware of their new material black street levi little so it's always come from a place of love and and as and from a fan you're a fan of these artists you're a fan Mm -hmm. of you know new edition and bbd and you know teddy riley and guy so we're all fans of the same people we're just this is a hub where we're all kind of sharing and you know and and nostalgic so it it just came from a positive place and unfortunately I i just think you know we got caught up in something that was bigger than us and we just yeah. happened to 
you know. So, but anyway, yeah. all is you know, all is well, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're back well. in action, stronger than ever. <laughs> yeah, nothing's you know, gonna. Somebody knows stuff. Is is <laughs> somebody <laughs> posted that in ninety, it, it, they showed. They say, can you imagine that twenty years ago, the only place you could get music news was on MTV, and you had to wait until their news updates to listen to what's going on. I mean. I mean, who watched? I have you. When's the last time you watched MTV? <laughs> I don't watch MTV. <laughs> it doesn't play music. I mean, they don't. Yeah. Do so you can see how much artists are sharing their own stuff, and other people like I. I subscribe to the Breakfast Club and Hot ninety Hot ninety seven, and they constantly post not just music but celebrity stuff because that's pretty much how we find out what's going on on, on Instagram or Snoop and stuff with us share or TMZ or Vlad TV would post stuff about an artist about what's going on and that's where we see our stuff we don't watch entertainment tonight or extra e extra whatever stuff to get our news we're getting directly from the artist so um yeah that's why those other platforms are having seeing shrinking audiences and why people like yourself um and myself and, and platforms like this are on the rise because we're giving the people what they want. We're giving it to them in a fresh way. You can get music news or the latest information to people immediately. You know, once you hear, oh, such and such has a new tour coming out, guys, you can just post it. Yeah, and we, can, we don't have to wait till yeah. o'clock. Right. So, you know, this is what the new media looks like. You know, people are going to their peers and, and different, you know, this is like a grassroots community thing where this is where we get our music news. This is where we check out our old favorite videos or catch up with our artists. And that's why, that's why I say there's no bad blood. You know, this is, it, everything we do on this channel is strictly for the love of music. We're fans mm -hmm. of music and we hope to partner with, um, you know, corporate entities and um, artists alike who would like to utilize, you know, um, our platform to connect themselves with our, you know, our base. So, you know, that's why I'm glad that issue was resolved and we have a great working relationship now, hopefully with, um, you know, the party. And like I said, in the future, we have no problem um, creating opportunities to connect our audience with, you know, you know, with the artists in the future, you know, it's just, it, it, this is a mis miscommunication. Mm -hmm. And so now everything's resolved, guys. So let us know your thoughts. <laughs> yeah. We are so excited to be back. I told you, they're not going to stop us, guys. So <laughs> they're back. <laughs> and ain't no stopping us now, like the old good song said. <laughs> and um, I'm glad to see uh, Namdi smiling again. He had a hard month last <laughs> month. He had all these patients. <laughs> you know, all of this stuff going on. And then the channel was in like, you know, peril. So, you know, it's good to see him smiling again. I'm glad to be back. You know, I just, it feels like, you know, we, we you know, we're back like we never left. So, yeah. All right. But anyway, okay, thanks good. for joining us on this episode, guys. See you next time. Me and Namdi are signing off. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>